Now, remember yesterday uh, that I ran a demonstration where we uh, found constructed during doing repeated samples, uh, sampling distributions for X bar um, for different sample sizes. And uh, we, we started with an original population. Well, we did one uh, where the original population was uh, normal here. So in this uh, column of the table, we got the original population. And then this is showing the sampling distribution for samples of size 2, samples of size 5, and samples of size 30. So w if you start with a normal distribution down here, samples of size 2 are going to be normal, size 5 and size 30, they're all normal. So you start with something normal, you're normal right away. Now we also looked at a uniform distribution. If you do samples of size 2, you don't get a normal distribution, you get a tent-shaped distribution. But if you do samples of size 5, now you're getting something that looks like a normal distribution. And samples of size 30, normal distribution, and then notice this is narrower than over here. So we've got a smaller standard deviation. Um, we also looked at a skewed distribution, this one. So you took samples of size 2, and uh, you started to see part of a normal distribution, but it got cut off on the left. Uh, samples of size 5, you're getting something that's closer to normal, and then by the time you get samples of size 30, you've got this nice normal distribution with a very small standard deviation. And then here's a bimodal uh, population, so we did not look at an example like that. So if you look at the sampling distribution of sample mean for size 2, you get this distribution, kind of weird shaped distribution. Uh, looks like a, a ghost and his two hands, you know, popping up, right? There's his eyes. And uh, just have a little fun. And samples of size 5, repeat samples of size 5, now we're starting to see a normal distribution. And then sample size 30, normal distribution, and smaller standard deviation. So what we're seeing here is that no matter what distribution you start with, by the time you get to samples of size 30, then everything's approximately normal. And in some cases, um, here, and we started with a normal distribution, so uniform and normal, it happened even before that. So it depends on shape of your original distribution um, that you could get approximately normal before size 30, but generally everything by size 30 is going to give you a, a normal distribution. And that's the wonderful thing about the sampling distributions, and that's why we use them, because we know if our original population is normal or if we take sample sizes that are big enough here, samples of size 30, repeated samples of size 30, then our sampling distributions are all going to be normal with nice, small, standard deviations. And that's good for what we want to do in terms of inferential tests.